It's beer o'clock on Real Craft Beer. I'm joined by Rampant Lion Beer Reviews. How are you doing? Fabulous. I'm so pleased to see you finally. I was walking over there in the festival and I was like, I know that guy. I know that guy. I know that guy. Um, check out his channel on YouTube. Um, top guy. You review beer from all over the world. Right? I just like float around and just try stuff from wherever I go. Yeah, yeah. My latest thing was uh, my girlfriend is Japanese. We went to Korea and Hong Kong this time. So Hong Kong, Korea, and craft beer, just because why not? You know? Do you know what I like about your channel? Even though I'll be perfectly honest with you, I I I, I had a total meltdown of the brain. I was like, what's the name of your channel called? So. Um, I watch you all the time and you're all about world beer. It's not like one place you stick to, like England or, or Poland or Germany. You're moving around with your beer reviews all the time. I really like that. And you've got the history behind it. You know you know where the beer is from. It's really kind of great. I, I like it. Well, I mean, well, thank you. I mean, it's like... <laughs> I just kind of view it as like a, a learning opportunity, like yeah, yeah. your research with the brewery. I mean, I can tell you a lot about some of the, you know, Amar and Beer Blue type, the breweries that you review a lot, you remember it. You write the notes the first time, you review a few of their beers, yeah. and you really start to remember it. Yeah. And then you're keeping up to date with what they're doing. Yeah. And um, it's, it's just good fun. And when you go to other countries, you just you learn about new beers and you learn about malt types and hops. And for me, that's what it's all about. But I mean, Rampant yeah. Lion Beer Reviews. Honestly, I watch a lot of his stuff. You've got to check him out. What do we have? Right, this, I'm forgetting the exact name of this beer. This one, it's called something along the lines of like Vladimir Putin Rumstead. <laughs> so it comes from Horn Beer. They're from a little place called Kirkjuhelinga, which is very close to Roskilde in the center of Sjælland. You know, the, 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 the island that Copenhagen's on in Denmark. See, this is what I love. Um, I love this. You know, this is what goes on. It's great. Go on, carry on. Sorry. So, this brewery, I think we were founded back sort of roughly 2008, 2009. They're just over 10 years old. And it's a husband and wife team. The husband was a home brewer for a long time and his name's gone right out of my head. The wife, she does the, uh, the, the art for the beers and it's very distinctive. Okay. For me, I've never tried an IPA from these guys, but their stouts are fucking amazing. Amazing. They're amazing. really, really good. Um, so this one is either 14 or 16 percent, I forget. They actually had an incident a few years ago. Yeah. They had a, a stout that was it was named something like this, the Putin Imperial Stout, and Russians hacked their website and they had to put it out of production. Right. Okay. So, okay. I don't know if this is a resurrection or yeah, what's yeah, going on, yeah. but regardless, if you have a stout from Horn Beer, it's going to be good. So one of the one of the older Danish craft breweries, but really awesome. Really so. Good. We should be calling this Improved Firewall Imperial Stats. That's, that's a good way to put it, yeah. Let's go. But let's go. Awesome. Let's have aroma, a yeah, aroma, aroma, yeah, yeah. Very sweet. Very oh, sweet. It's like um, that's rum barrel aged, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like um, like I'm getting blackberries and plums and raisins vanilla. and yeah, vanilla. vanilla. Yeah. Blueberry a little bit, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there's a good bit of milky chocolate in this one. You're talking, you know, like 60% cocoa, but it's almost lactosey yeah. a little bit. Definitely a sort of milky chocolate rather than a high percentage cocoa kind of thing. Um, knee hops, no hops. Very little. No, it's um, it's it's all of them beautiful roasted malt kind of characteristics coming through. I mean, I suspect though that this is barrel aged. I can't remember if it was barrel aged or not. It um, smells like yeah, definitely barrel aged. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, because the vanilla and the wood. Yeah, yeah, to this yeah. Beer. Um, and it's sixteen percent. Let's go. Let's have a taste. Yeah. Let's go. It's land of school. Yakida. In Welsh. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of the sweetest um, high alcohol beer stouts I've tried. Do you know the balance? Though? I don't, I don't know if it's because I've drunk seven beers already today, but I, I seem to have, like the alcohol is really well done. You say it's between fourteen and sixteen percent, but it's all really well hidden away, yeah. Yeah, no, like, I think 
later on it goes to be like it, the palate, your middle of your palate dries out and yeah, you get more yeah. of the roastiness. Yeah. But in the beginning, it's more like oily, syrupy, like brown sugar, uh, chocolate. Yeah. And that's so this one make for me it makes like a really interesting transition, high like high cocoa chocolate and brown sugar to a really roasty, toasty thing. And I mean these guys they've got their Caribbean rum stout. That was one of their first beers, like a really award-winning beer in Denmark. It was like the like breakout beer, yeah. 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 Okay. And that's a very sweet one. But yeah. then they've got other ones that are really roasty and toasty. And this one's almost like a combination of the two. Yeah, and, yeah. And I mean, for me, Danish craft beer, the, the sort of um, like pinnacle style. I mean, Peter Master of Office would probably comment on this too. For me. Danish beer is, is the Imperial Stout that pushed it up a little. And yeah. recently they've got very good at IPAs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I call it kind of like, I, I call it Scandinavian style Russian Imperial Stout. It's that, like we have here, that thick tan coloured head, fantastic small bubbles, and a jet black beer in the glass. Yeah, it's, it's terrific. Can I ask you, I, I do a rating system out of 10, so can I ask you to rate this beer out of 10? Um, I'm always, I'm very difficult to please and I mean, it's got to be a 9 or 10, that's an awesome beer. Yeah, and yeah, I mean, yeah. for me, it, it is pushing the 10, whether I give it 9 or 10. The problem with me as an astrophysicist, I, I struggle to make up my mind. It's in that 9, 10 bracket. Yeah, 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 absolutely uh, fantastic. It's it's a beautiful beer, this. It's, it's one of the best Imperial Stouts you're going to come across in Denmark. I mean, yeah. Amar, Herr Fredriksen, Mikkeller Black Hole, uh, beer, the original Beer Geek, it's up there with that. That's, that for me, I like comparing beers to other beers, and that's what it matches. Yeah, so. Awesome. Um, check out Rampant Lion Beer Reviews in the description box of this video. I watch an awful lot of the videos. What I like about the channel, it's so knowledgeable. It, it, like like me, I go in very vague. It's like this beer from, from, from Denmark and it's in Imperial South. Whereas this guy goes in, he'll know the town and, and, and the brew. And I really I respect that. I really respect that. So if you want a more in-depth beer review, Check out Rampant Line Beer Reviews. I'll, I'll have a link in the description box of this video. I mean, I will warn you, they are a little bit longer. So they're great, though. Know, they're me, bloody yeah. great because I don't have that kind of depth. Of, I'm more of a vague, you like, just you like know. To taste the beer, I yeah. yeah, more of, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, we're going to go on Swedish TV now. They're waiting for I can see them waiting for us. So well, we will do a, a, There's a Swedish stout I want to show you, so we'll do one more. We'll do one more. We'll do one more. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But beautiful beer, this. A good balance between roasty and toasty, and I think that's a good way to sum it up. If you compare this to Amar, Herr Fredriksson, Mikkeller, Black Hole, and Beer Gate Brunch, really good Imperial Stout. Good balance between the sweet stout and the Russian Imperials. Could you mention the name of the brewery once more for the show? Uh, Horn Beer from uh, Sjöpti Hilling at Sjöland, Denmark. Amazing. I love that knowledge. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to give this a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. I love this beer. Uh, comment, subscribe, check out this guy. Cheers.